Hey everyone, Mango7 Roy here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another Epic 7 video. Today we're going to talk about how stats work, what they do, what you want to equip on everything. Just overall, a gear guide, I hope. I'm not sure how this is going to go. I hope this goes okay. There is so much to cover and I really just want to cover it all. So to start things off with here, there are six different slots of equipment you can have. There's uh, generally known as the left side and the right side. If you are a Summoner's War player, the left side is 1, 3, and 5, and the right side is 2, 4, and 6. If that means nothing to you, every time I say in this video from now on out, if you're a Summoner's War video, just like plug your ears for 10 seconds. So let's take a look at a piece of gear here. There are three different slots that are very, very important. The first one is your uh, main stat, which is currently attack here. You can tell it's the main stat because it is... Um, surrounded by those two little lines here. Then you have your substats. Your substats on this one, there are four of them max. They are attack um, percent, critical hit damage, critical hit chance, and effect resistance. So there are two different sections that are just super important. And then of course you have the attack set, and this is the set bonus you get if you get all of those pieces. Um, so the main stat on each item is fixed on the left side. The left side has attack for the main stat for your sword has flat HP for your helm and has flat defense for your uh, chest piece. The right side, however, is completely different. The right side is all percents, basically, or the only place you could get percents, I should say. Um, I forget which are which. There's a couple that can't have defense percent as the main. And there's some that can't have attack percent, I think, or something like that. I can't remember exactly, but long story short, the right side is where you're going to get most of your stats from. So boots can have attack percent, defense percent, HP percent, and flat speed. And speed is the only stat that's a flat stat you really want on your main here. So we can see here we have attack percent, we have critical hit chance, and we have health percent here. So taking a look at the Lorena, let's use this as an example. This is a plus 12 um, epic piece of gear. It's tier 4, and it has 29% attack as the main stat. Where we compare this to the chest here, and the chest has 61 flat defense and like 25-ish percent or so worth of percents in the substats. So these boots, the main stat is worth more than the entirety of this piece of gear, just the main stat, not including the subs on the boots. So this gives you an idea of how powerful the right side of gear really is. So because of this, you really want to focus on upgrading the right side as opposed to the left side. The left side is what you should be filling out your set bonuses with IMO right now, and the right side is where you should be getting those hard hitting or hard stat items. So let's talk about how things are upgraded in general. Um, in Summoner's War, plug your ears, remember like this, it's entirely the same. 95% similar, there are two big changes between this and Summoner's War. I think I've got some blue gear somewhere on Elson, maybe. Uh, maybe I don't have any blue gear. Oh, here we go. Here we go on Crab and Rose. So there are two different big differences between this and Summoner's War. For one, in Summoner's War, um, you will not get the third and fourth substats on this ring until plus nine and plus 12. And in Summoner's War at plus 15, you will not get a substat. But here it's different. You will get um, the third and fourth stat at plus three and plus six, and you will get the Summoner's War um, plus 15. You usually get, which is the main stat increase, but you'll also get another substat. So just to be clear on how upgrades work here, let's take a look at Kickerat here. So we've got these boots here. Uh, every single time we upgrade these boots, it's at plus three now. Every time we go from one, two, three, four, all the way up to 14, we're going to get the same percent of defense every single time, every single level we do it. So this is why your main stat is the most important stat you can have on your right side, because every level we get, we're going to get a huge percent increase. But then also at 14 to 15, we're going to get a bigger increase. So let's say defense percent goes up 3% every single level up to 14. And when you go from 14 to 15, because it's like the max stage, you get like 15% instead. You get like five times the amount you would normally get. So that is huge, super huge to remember. Also at plus three, plus six, plus nine, plus 12, and plus 15, you will also get a random substat increase. I don't entirely know the rule ranges here, but the higher the tier here, 
the bigger your roll ranges can be at the bottom and the bigger your main stat is. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you're looking for general ideas, close your ears. Um, Summoner's War has the same sort of roll ranges and the exact same stats. So you can Google Summoner's War rune ranges and kind of find out the same information. So at plus three right now, we got a roll into health percent. So when we roll again at plus six, we're hoping to get like speed, attack or health and not the flat defense. So that's generally how upgrading works in this game. And you can see here, I basically only keep percents on the uh, main stat here. I have a couple of flats here, like this one right here. Uh, if this was a tier three epic with speed, attack, defense, and HP, all percents except for speed on the substats, but it's got flat attack as the main, I probably still don't use it. Uh, in fact, I definitely still don't use it. So keep in mind, your number one concern is going to be your main stat on your right side. You can honestly even use a gray tier six if you wanted to upgrade it because it's really the main stat that matters. So I really hope I drilled that into your guys' head. Um, you basically never ever want to use a right side flat unit. And uh, let's talk about the main things people screw up while they're gearing units. Everybody always asks me, how do I ruin X? How do I ruin Y? What sets should I give it? What stats do I focus on it? And honestly, without even knowing what I should put on the character, I can read their skills and figure it out for myself within a pretty decent amount of accuracy. So let's use um, Kickerat, for example. So my general approach to, to equipment right now is I generally want everybody to be as fast as possible. Speed is the most important stat in the game and it always will be, I think. Um, and then I want to figure out if they need defenses or offenses. And then um, I want to figure out which defenses or offenses. And then I want to put them all together. Um, a lot of people only care about the set bonuses and don't realize that you don't have to force a set. So I go for my stats first and then my set second if I can work it. Um, and a lot of people force the sets and that really screws it up because you can have a really trash set of attack crit or you can have a completely broken defense set or something like that and, and you end up with more attack and more defenses. So keep that super in mind here. Some of the best equipped units I've seen in this game only have one two piece set on it and the rest are broken. So let's do the same approach we just did with Kikarat here. So let's say before I even know his abilities, I think I need to make Kikarat fast because everybody's got to go fast unless they have something specifically warranting them not wanting to go fast. Um, I then need to figure out how his skills st scale. In general, most of your damage is going to come from attack, but um, certain things have different proportionate to the caster's stats. So this one, damage dealt increases proportionate to the caster's defense. The second one here, or the first one, damage dealt increases to, support per to the proportionate defense of the unit. So I then put attack much lower in my list of priorities and, attack or and defense way up at the top, probably ahead of speed too. Also notice he has a counter attack on one of these abilities. So this probably means speed doesn't matter as much since we kind of want him to get hit with the counter attack buff up. So I now go into this wanting defense percent as much as we can on the right side and just want to make him super tanky for that tank slot. Um, you can alternatively, once you have good enough gear, go defense percent, crit rate, and crit damage. So you have um, your damage that you scale off of, which is defense. Then you have crit rate and crit damage would work kind of the same with everybody. So that's how I approach somebody like Kick Rat. And then there's somebody like Destina here. Um, I think the same thing. I think she's a healer. I want her to go as many times as possible to heal as many people. Let's see how her heals scale and figure out where we want to gear her. So I click on this one here. And it heals increases proportionate to the caster's max health. Um, and we have this one here, proportionate to the caster's max health. And this one here, proportionate to the caster's max health. So we then realize that HP is probably going to be her most important stat. Not only are we increasing her heals with this, but we're also increasing her tankiness, which is why we went with all HP here. And this is a really good example of what not to do here. I have this absolutely atrocious ring or necklace on her right now and I should absolutely not be using this just as a heads up and a lot of people have stuff like this upgraded because they see substats and they think it's good like let's say this one is two speed three effect resistance five percent defense and three or five percent health or something like that it's still not worth upgrading just to super get that clear um so that's how I geared my Destina and then there's people like Araminta is another really good example um 
I see Araminta. I read her abilities first. I think before I go in, I'm probably going to want attack. I'm probably going to want speed and I'm probably going to want survivability. So we can see here, she has a 90% chance to burn here. Um, she has uh, more unhealable here. And we have another burn. So we can she see she has three attacks that are reliant on effectiveness. So we're probably going to want that. We also see she burns on two abilities. And um, burning is affected by your attack. Proportionate to your attack. So I probably want a ton of attack on her too. She also gets 50% combat readiness on her third skill. So speed maybe isn't as important. But probably is still important. So I go into Araminta thinking I want to make her as damagey as possible. While she survives basically with as much effectiveness as I can. So that's what I ended up doing here. I only got 20% effectiveness which is nowhere near enough. But uh, overall pretty solid with her stats. Especially her defensive here. So I don't know what I haven't covered to be entirely honest here. I'm, I'm just trying to get as much in as possible. Um, I also see people plus 15 in their left side of gear and I really don't recommend that yet. Uh, you just don't get enough for plus 15 in your left side. I, I would really focus on your right side if at all possible. The other thing too is with crafting. Let's go to the crafting here. Crafting is going to be where you get the vast majority of your gear late game I think. And I feel like these are all a necessity. If you ever get to the point where you're farming um, any of the, the dungeons 8 plus basically, you 100% need all three of these. This has to happen. You need to save your Orbises for this sometime. Um, these decrease by so much. And the other thing is, you're probably going to want to build boots for 99% of your crafts to be honest because our choices to craft here are weapon, chest piece, helm, and boots. So as we talked about earlier, we know that we don't get any percents from the left side, and we know that the biggest stat boosts are going to be from boots. So not only are we getting uh, the best gear possible from crafting boots, we're also getting other boots to feed into our boots that are good uh, to level those up higher and get those percents. So I really focus on crafting um, boots over anything else and the only way I wouldn't is if I very specifically needed a piece of gear I was trying to chase like if I had uh, a perfect three piece set of speed but I really needed a chest with a uh, speed set on it then I would maybe try to craft that but overall I would still just wait for the drops especially for anything tier six it just you get so much from that main stat it's not worth it the other thing I get asked is how I get my accessories how do I get that big stat on the accessories the first thing is there's one for arena tokens, conquest points, and this is huge. Uh, you can't see it anymore. Yes, you can. Um, yeah, this one here. This one is not the best ring, to be honest, but it's super amazing, and anybody's going to love this through the game. And the other thing is these tier 2 to 5 accessory chests as well is how I get the rest of my gear. 90% of these are trash, 95%. Um, but you will get the odd one that is just insanely amazing. So hopefully that helps you out. So I'm going to go rewatch this video and see what I forgot to cover. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, anyways, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, if there's anything I missed. I just tried to ramble and cover everything in my head to hopefully help you guys out. So thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always, and I will see you guys later. Bye.